Dave, you always post at the beginning of the year your, the HR trends that's going to happen. If, can you share us what's going to happen in 2020? And do you believe that with the coronavirus happening, things have changed completely? I'm laughing. I remember, and I'll date myself, I was working in a company, oh, this must have been 15 or 20 years ago, and they had just gone through the strategic planning process. And they had done the site visits and all the divisions and all the units, and they got all the plans laid out. And then the uh, first Iraqi war happened. And you're probably not old enough to know, but I'm old enough. And those who are old enough remember it was the first war that was broadcast live on CNN, where the Allies got together, spent 60 days amassing troops, and then invaded in Iraq uh, to try to navigate some of that crisis. I remember the CEO of that company uh, went to his employees and he said, we spent three months going to every business and planning and getting ready. And then the war happened and they're all gone. Yeah. Now. I think the major themes that we laid out for 2020 will continue. HR has to create value, not inside, but outside. Value is not what employees do, but what employees do so that customers are happy. That's that outside in logic that is so critical. Um, when people come to the University of Michigan to a course, we say, what are you here for? I want to learn how to change culture. I want to learn how to manage compensation. I want to learn how to develop leaders. We have them put behind those desires a, a two-word phrase called so that. The so that moves my mindset. I want to change culture so that my business wins. That's still inside the company. I want to change culture so that my business wins so that mm. we serve customers. Yeah. And if you ask the so that question, you eventually get outside. Well, what's happened with the coronavirus? The time from outside to inside has been compressed. Yeah. And so now I've got to do what I'm doing in a very, very fast change model. And so the basic principles are the same. Add value outside in. Um, make sure that our employees feel connected through their experience or sentiment or whatever the current buzzword is. Make sure we build the right culture, not just any culture. Make sure we give our employees, and for me, this is the... Uh, one of the red letter ones that I'm really intrigued with, we give, our we give guidance to the business. In the HR field for decades, we've been descriptive. Here's what you do to hire someone. Here's what you do to pay someone. Here's what you do to develop someone. I wanna now give guidance. Hmm. What should I do to hire someone so that I win in the marketplace? Yeah. I, I just been in, we have been working on an organizational guidance system Mm -hmm. for the last year. This week, it's amazing, this week, www.rbl.ai, yeah. www.rbl.ai, we are going live with the first beta test of that guidance system. Oh, We've wow. identified four pathways. I, in HR, want to give my business guidance about talent, mm -hmm. leadership, organization, and HR services. Yes. And we now have created free, Go online, fill out a survey. You will get a free guidance direction of what you can do to be more effective. We're doing the beta test in the next two weeks, and then we'll go live with that assessment. So that's the trends that I see coming. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. And I will put the link in the, this video. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips that you see coming in the 2020, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Dave.